Welcome to the rice fields, doctor. <laughs> this new event was amazing. I mean, the story. I mean, I'm just gonna talk about this event in general as a huge Ark Knights fans and as someone who's recently started reading all these Ark Knight stories. I just like you know love to dive into this world. So we have Reed over here with her new skin. I mean, I just love Reed so much. She her skin was one of the few skins that I actually planned to like you know buy when it was revealed on the CN side. Another is Lynn. I already got her skin. I mean, I think I posted on it as well on my community tab, but I have the Lynn skin as well. So like you know, these two skins are done. The next skin goal is like when the Wishedel banner drops, when like you know Ines and Mulezies. Uh, Scardy Alter, they they all get their skins. So until then, we're just chilling over here. I did the event. It was like you know for a 4.5 anniversary event, which was I know like it was actually a Chinese New Year event for the CN side. So I kind of expected like you know with the scale of the event, you have these free daily pulls, you have these lucky strips and all. Um, I just kind of expected that you know maybe we would have a longer story. I'm gonna cut something compared to uh, Zwillingstrom or Lone Trail or Undertides or uh, Il Sorkasana. I mean, those stories are massive. Like you know, even though the nodes are condensed into ten playable nodes, nine or ten playable nodes, but the story just feels massive. Each node takes about twenty, thirty minutes to read. Compared to that, here are people's souls. I'm just gonna open that the event page. Which has the most banger music ever? I'm gonna get to it later. Uh, the story was actually good because it was short. Like I, I didn't have to spend more than 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes on a single chapter, on a single note, just reading through the story. And the entire story was, you know, just just farming. Like you know, basically get those rice fields. I mean, a okay as possible. Remove the blight and all. If you look deep into it, the story was basically nothing. Like I didn't find anything. I don't know. Lore intensive to the Ark Knights world. I mean, we know about Shu. We got to know about Shu. Uh, we got to know about Shu's long lost brother, G or something like. Not long lost brother, but a brother. And then Neon and Dusk had their scenes. Strong Yu wasn't like I don't know visible, but I haven't read where the Vernal Winds blow. I think that was his event name, or whatever the event was last year. I didn't read that, so I have no idea what Chong Yue is doing, or Ling for that matter is doing. But the characters over here was act were actually pretty good. I loved Green Buds, and I'm kind of glad that you know I got her from the from the Gacha as well. Even though I'm probably never going to build her, but still, I just like her, like her character. She was adorable, although spoilers obviously. But uh, at some point, like you know, when she sacrificed herself, I think it was right before. Story two, HSSD two. Um, I was like, wait, what? Why, why, why would they do that? I mean, that that shoe. Why would they kill her off? And then towards the end of the notes, where you know time started to fluctuate, where some people completely forgot about shoe and all. I didn't quite grasp that, like you know why that was happening. But I mean, I don't know. It's it's Ark Knights. I'll figure it out someday, or probably some event's gonna help me figure that out someday, or something like that. So. Now the final story was actually a nice read for a change because it was moderately paced. It wasn't overly long. It was like you know, it was it was a fun read, and the music. Now let's talk about the music. The music is so good. It's, it's so 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 good. I mean, I, I just love the music. It's such a banger music. I don't know. There are some parts of it that actually remind me of the Witcher Three. Like you know, this part, this this current tune that runs. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of The Witcher Three's main title, like track, you know, the do 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 something like that. And you know, it just I don't know why, but whenever I hear this, I get The Witcher Three vibes. You can be like Geralt swinging his sword, taking down monsters. It's just amazing. It was a good throwback. And Witcher Three is one of my favorite video games ever. Like you know, I I can play that game anytime, any day. At any age, because it's just so marvelous, and I can just dive into that world anytime. <laughs> But still, so that's that was all about the music. Again, the music reminded me of The Witcher 3 and stuff. The main boss music was also pretty good. 
and shoes music actually just feels kind of melancholic melancholic um shoes music like you know the title track used in the teaser trailer actually reminds me of jong lee's theme from genshin but more sad more depressed more aged in nature like you know compared to jong lee's pretty epic theme like you know just like you know it's it's pretty cool but shu has like a very calm and very matureish theme so that's where the music part of me and i haven't heard of like you know shu's title track which which is probably going to drop someday like you know maybe day after tomorrow or somebody so i i'm, I'm just going to listen to that and hopefully it's going to be a banger as well apart from that the banner results i mean i also i also posted this but i'm just going to show you i got sela and apparently her name is pronounced as sela because for the longest time i was pronouncing her name as selich and i was like okay but uh, when i got her and when i was listening to a voice line then she should just said sela and i was like wait what it's like anata ga rodos no shikikan desu ne shinjin operator no saila Yeah, Sila, Sila, Sila. I mean, Sila. Okay, yeah. So that that was that was one interesting fact that I found out when I got her. But I'm just happy because I really loved her character arc in the Victoria, like you know, chapter nine. And then she also appeared towards the end of chapter thirteen as well, when you know the big the big assemble moment was happening with you know backpipe showing up and Sila also showing showing up and all. It was actually amazing. I still have to eat to her. I plan to eat to her at the end of this video. So, like you know, first we're going to talk about the event, the event mechanics, because you know. So this event deals with the blight system. The the what should I say? It's it's basically like poison. Like you know, it's it's like poisonous gas. But instead of the poisonous gas being available from the beginning. the enemies when they die they pollute the water and then that kills you so like you know basically what was happening in france right now for the swimming guys for the olympics <laughs> yeah um uh, if you don't know you can just search it up i mean france's rivers apparently france's waters are polluted so the swimmers are facing quite a problem over there So that that's that's another story, but yeah, the, the same concept applies here. The waters get polluted, so your operators get hurt. And if the water is clean, your operators will generate HP. Simple concept. The nodes weren't that difficult. I mean, up till even the boss was actually quite easy. Like you know, very very easy. I just went in blind for the boss. Like you know, for the blind team, I just went in with you know, Typhoon S3, Surtur S3. uh neal the radiant knight s3 virtuosa s3 and then all, all of them had some sort of mastery on it as well so yeah that that's what i do when i go in blind to a boss node bring out the big guns but no uh the boss was actually pretty easy to kill off typhon just you know obliterated the the slumbering sui as the boss is called and the gimmick of this boss isn't that difficult now i have no idea how the x stage is and these the s stage will be so in the future i just hope it's not that difficult i mean fingers crossed but up till now this boss was easy like you know very easy compared to like you know the, that that nonsense that we had last year with the teleportation and the continuous spawning of enemies i mean i have no idea what ya was doing back then but you know slumbering slumbering so he is kind of grateful for now and apart from that pretty easy gimmick like you know not nothing much to figure out the materials are absolutely amazing because i'm going to farm the hell out of this and one more thing that i liked was that you know um we're getting hibiscus skin i don't know if this is new or this is old but we're getting it so i'm just assuming it's new for me and by big tokens like you know this token was usually available in the cc shop but apparently they removed that cc shops so and like you know having getting a chance to get all those potentials for bybee even if I'm, even if i'm like not going to use her anywhere it just feels nice like you know this event has recreated some form of getting potentials for these characters now i don't know if in the future bybee's potential letter would go directly into this event's record restoration or something like that but i'm just i mean i'm hoping for the best also i got a few medals so I got the trimmed medal as well, you know, first day. 
I mean second day but still second day still it, it works and it's very easy to get the trimmed metal it's not that difficult I mean I could I could tell you the the what should I say so what you want to do over here on the ninth one like if you're facing difficulty with the trimmed one um, just keep I mean how should I show you should I just play it I'm gonna play it and then yeah you, you can just see what I did over here so it's gonna be kind of easy like rather than explaining it like you know place the water or something over there and then you have to wait and see there so it just makes it out it makes it easier so yeah we're gonna see my run my auto deploy of this boss and hopefully it will net me another crystal apart from that i mean i'm not gonna go 100 percent for shoe because i am saving for the rainbow six banners but yeah, see that the music, the music is so good. It just, it just reminds you of this, this, this epic moment. Like you know, I don't know why, I, I don't know why, but I just feel like you know, this music would fit so well in a Liu Wei themed event. Like you know, in Genshin, obviously. But imagine if like you know, Genshin approached stories the way Arc Knight does, with you know, darkness, with maturity, with serious topics. That would be. This music would just fit in so so well over there. So alright, here as I'm showing you, this this uh, this water pumping station should be placed over here. So like you know, you can easily clean over this and place an operator over here. I just place Sela over here because you know I'm I'm trust farming. I need Sela and Koshiguma and Gladia somewhere. Like you know, trust farm them. But you know, this can this can work. This can absolutely work because you know the Hoshiguma is actually pumping extra pressure over here. So this this patch gets uh, what should I say? The patch once the NS is on, that patch stays pure. The patch up top stays pure because you know you're not killing enemies over there. So as long as you don't kill enemies, the patch is going to stay pure. The place where enemies are going to die, that's the part where your land's going to get polluted. So. For the trim, you just need three, I mean, three, at most three polluted lands. Like, you know, it's, it's actually pretty easy because, you know, uh, the land above Reed Milsies, this one, is going to get polluted, obviously. You, or if you like, you know, if, if you want to kill everybody in this patch, like, you know, the patch that's facing, that Iafala is facing, this patch. So if you want to do that, you can just, you know, place all your top tank operators, casters, archers, guards, everything over there. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this died so fast. But yeah, uh, that's what I said. Like, if you want to figure out if you have good operators, you could do that. But this one is actually pretty easy to copy. No, I have no idea what I did there. But you know, it's just nice. Anna. Oh, and I did it. And I got a new mission. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So that's where, like, you know, this entire review for this event is going to end. I mean, it was just um, an amazing event. The photos. I mean, I for the first time I saw many artworks in the story, which was a nice change. Like you know, usually you get artworks towards the end of the chapters or towards the beginning of the chapters. But nothing in between. But this event had a lot of artworks, especially this specially made artworks for the story, which actually fit very well, and I actually loved it a lot. The scenes were great. The shoe is great, and yeah as i promised i'm just gonna like you know now promote my operators because it's it's it's, it's been too long and they they deserve some love so yeah doctor i absolutely love reed alter man i just love it that she came home i'm just so happy on that mulesy's manner where she spooked me i mean i, I wanted who layak over there but you know when when Reed came, I was like, you know, wait, this is so, so much better than Hulhayak. I mean, I just wanted Hulhayak for the for the snake wife memes, but the game was like, no man, take take the dragon, take the dragon, enjoy. It's so, alright. Hoshiguma, gonna promote her first because, you know, I got her first. And then I'm gonna go with Sela. Nice. 
Hopefully I can take a screenshot because I remember the last time I tried taking a screenshot while recording. Everything is with FGO. And the problem there was like, you know, I was doing these pulls and I got someone over there and then I pressed the screenshot button, but my phone shut off, which was so annoying. So, so annoying, but still we got Hoshigoma promoted and next Sela. Obviously her as well, because, you know, I was saving for this moment, saving for saving it for this video. Nice. Two beautiful girls are promoted. Now I don't have the swimsuits, which is kind of sad, but mm, I'll, I'll, I'll get it one day. Hopefully, maybe if, if I have the originate prime. All right, time to take her photo as well. Please don't shut off phone. All right, take a photo. Nice. Okay, so that's where I'm going to stop this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for this, you know, general talk about this event in general. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do X stages or S stages, a video on it. Maybe, maybe I might do it. Maybe I might do an unvoiced video, like, you know, just compiling all my runs after I obviously do them because I'm, I'm, I'm no, I'm no God. I can't handle it. I need to practice. But still, thanks for watching and if you like this video, please subscribe and stay tuned for more Ark Knights content down the road. Till then, have a great day and keep farming. Go farm those rice fields. Alright, goodbye.